tonight is going to be a lot. <laughs> This is the biggest crowd that I've played to so far. A number was said. I don't remember what it was. Adam, what was it? 750. 750. So I'm very, I'm very excited. Like 750 people care enough to like come and like sing it with me tonight. That's the weirdest thing. I have always only wanted to do this. Always. And so doing it, doing it is really cool. I entire EP is like everything I went through in this entire year which was like the highest of highs being like this doesn't bother me this doesn't mess me up and like the lowest of lows of like this hurts so bad but like without having that um, project and that way to like get it out and having people listen I would not like I would not have healed in the way that I did and I feel so excited that like people like it Oh, five things on my rider. Okay, number one is spin drift. The second thing out of five, I would say is 100% sweet green. The third thing I like to have fresh raspberries. I like to have all my friends. And then number five, I have to have my parents there. I have to have my mom and dad. Artist wise, my biggest influence has always been Frank Ocean and songs that have structure, but it's not implied as like blatantly as it is in pop music. It's so much more based off of feeling. My overall like biggest inspiration is my like younger self. We've been like going through like all my like home videos and stuff for like different projects. And like that was such a fearless version of who I am now. I'm like, how can I be more like that? Ideal collaboration of mine, Justin Bieber. I love that man. Damn, I love that man. Sam, I really, I really, I love you. I really ideally want to play a show one day that's like me, Frank Ocean, Beyonce, and maybe SZA, and it's all at Carnegie Hall, but everyone has to wear sweats. Everybody would always talk about like, oh, Carnegie Hall is so like chic and da 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 and whatever. And I was like, okay. And I was like, I don't love chic, personally. Like, I like like, chic in a hot way, but not chic in like a buttoned up, like I'm afraid of people way. I was so intimidated by how like, posh everything felt when I moved here because I was just really insecure because I was so young and I was like, I don't know stage right from stage left, okay? And I was really stressed. And so I was like, oh, Carnegie Hall just seems so like, mm -hmm. I wanna do that, but in a way that's like not that. Kill Bill, Suzo. So ballsy for saying like, I might kill my ex. Not the best idea. <laughs> His new girlfriend's next. It's so good. I hope that the message ends up being that like, you are good. Like find some like solace in the fact that like you actually exist like right now and you are good in this moment. Other things may not be good. That's not like a blanket statement to say like, I'm gaslighting you all, your problems don't matter. No, like not at all. You are fine in this moment. I have a five year hair plan that does coincide with my career. And so like right now I'm in my like blonde era. I've been blonde my whole life, right? But I think like all the best artists or artists that I love in my opinion have always had like moments that everybody's like, woof, are they good? And you actually don't know. I don't even know if they're actually good, but um, I really want to have that. So after this, what I'll be doing is I'll cut my hair short blonde, like really short, not like Bob. I did that in high school after I came out. It was really actually super bad. And then after that, I'm going to dye it red. And it's not going to be a bright red. It's going to be like a a darker red with like a little mm, like a little grit and that's gonna be the phase where everybody's like ooh is she good so when I'm a redhead watch out hopefully by that point I will have won best new artist at the Grammys following that hopefully a few years down the line I will then become a brunette and I actually don't know where I'll be at that point but I want to do the Super Bowl eventually my album is just gonna be like hopefully everything I've wanted to say my whole life and then next album, when we talk, I will say the same thing and I'll be like, oh my God, no, that? Jesus, I'm so thankful that I'm supported enough by so many people and by you guys um, to communicate it. So it just feels good.